we're going to be measuring the relationship between radius, linear velocity, and centripetal acceleration. And we're going to be using this ladybug revolution simulation. It's pretty nice. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to set an angular velocity. And that's the only thing that we can actually set. Uh, I'm going to place the ladybug at 2 meters. <coughs> and for the first experiment, she's just going to stay at 2 meters. So we're going to hold our radius constant. We're going to change our velocity and see what happens to centripetal acceleration. Okay, so 360 degrees. I am going to hit play. And there, the ladybug, the velocity vector and the uh, centripetal acceleration vector are available. What I have to do now is I have to measure them. And so I need to get them sort of perpendicular so I can use this ruler. And there's my velocity vector. So when the ladybug is at 2 meters and the uh, angular velocity is 360 degrees per second, the velocity vector here is 3 meters. Okay, I need to get my centripetal acceleration vector, my acceleration vector, which, by the way, is perpendicular to the velocity vector. I step around, and I am going to see that it's about, I don't know, 7.1 7 .7 meters. Okay, next part of the experiment, we need to change the velocity. Now, all I can do is really change angular velocity. I'm going to drop it in half, and I'm going to see what happens to the angular acceleration. And, of course, the velocity also has dropped in half. Okay. So make sure you hit reset all between experiments and conduct th this experiment appropriately, making sure that you get the measurements right. Okay. And velocity has gone to 1.5, exactly half. Good. Okay. Find the acceleration vector. 